These are some serious Devo fans. They're, they're getting whipped by the wind out here. Devo's playing tonight. No shit. Hey, I saw Devo on their first tour, 1978, Dallas, Texas. It was amazing. I went in, and everybody in there knew every word to every song. Of course, there was only one album, but that still was amazing to me. It's a combination of everything. It's um, it's the music, it's the theory, it's the community, it's the the band members are all very nice guys, and um, and it's a heck of a lot of fun. Can you recognize the patterns that we find stuck in your mind? <clears throat> yeah. Very nice. And are you having something signed? I'm here? having my Rickenbacker bass <clears throat> signed. Hopefully. Go speed racer! Doing things I haven't did before! Either side it out, coming back with her! Oh girl with the four little lips! Never knew it could be like this! You put me in a situation! Got through some commutation! Yeah! <laughs> Give the lady a hand! She's definitely devolved! <laughs> Special Devo car? Did they hear you have a? Yes. Oh yeah, there's you a yellow you car. You gotta see that car. That car is wild. This is it's, it's like this is. Wow. <laughs> you are serious about this? Yep. Look at this. This is beautiful. You gotta get the backside too. Wow. And this is the other thing that I was working on lately my lighted energy dome. Oh, nice. Look at that. She's just a girl. She's just a girl. The girl you are. I am a Devo virgin. <laughs> really? <laughs> For me, from the first day I saw them on Saturday Night Live, I have always been intrigued by their message and what they stand for, and they never let me down. Do you guys have a favorite Devo song? Oh boy. I have a lot of favorite songs. Yeah, it's a thick one, it's Mongoloid. Oh, here's another one. Yeah, what, yeah, how's it going? Why do you like Evo? Oh, because they're the best. The best. Great music. And favorite Great song? Uh, Shrivel Up. Uh, I think my first um, Devo experience was probably like a lot of people my age uh, seeing Whip It on MTV in the early 80s. And then, you know, diving in and Getting deeper and deeper into their cuts and discovering a whole awesome world. Do you have a favorite uh, Devo song? Smart Patrol. Smart Patrol. How does that go? Are you gonna make me sing it? <laughs> Suburban robots to monitor reality. That's all I got. <laughs> I became devolved back in 1977. I heard Devo on Doctor Demento, and from then on, it was all downhill. Tell, tell us about your Devo-ness. All right, well, I ushered for Devo in San Francisco. I think it was New Year's, New Year's Eve 1983. They did two shows back to back. 
<laughs> and uh, Mark climbed up a rope from the lower level to the balcony. That's where I was ushering. He did that twice that night. And uh, they had like a special guest star uh, spaz attack. So my question is, whatever happened to spaz attack? The very first time my son, my husband saw Devo, he got hosed down. He was in the audience and they hosed him off. 12 years old, Birmingham, Alabama, living well north of Birmingham, living in the sticks country, of course. And I found uh, uh, Are We Not Men, We Are Devo. And of course, in Alabama, that's unheard of, you know, to uh, that group at least. <clears throat> Kiss, other things were pretty big at that time. It uh, could burn you, but it was like a winch. Yeah, and uh, so uh, that album turned me on to it, and from that point on, I was absolutely hooked. Um, and you know, loved them ever since. So this for me is actually huge because, uh, um, yeah, they're kind of gods to me to, to a degree. I saw a man on a stage scream, put me back in my cage. I saw him hang from his tie. <laughs> I saw enough to make me cry on planet Earth. Devo, I saw him in San Diego probably in the early 80s. It was the best concert I ever went to. I was born a spud in my prior life, so <laughs> so I've been following them before. They had energizing domes, they just had flower pots, so it's been a while. <laughs> but it's nice to see a few people my age in this line, not too many. <laughs> well, the minute the human race started to de-evolve, I realized that I had to jump on the train with Devo. I got a story. It was about 1980 or so. I'm going to my first party, I'm about 13 years old. I have. Walking down the street, I see the strobe light popping from underneath. All right, brother. I see the strobe light popping from underneath uh, the garage door. I get the goosebumps. It's my first party, and I hear the beginning of Gates of Steel. And I'm 13, you know, so I'm getting a little liquored up. I'm so, so jacked. I walk in, Gates of Steel's playing my first party. Little blonde girls everywhere. Oh. I'll never forget, I love Devo, love Devo. And how about a favorite Devo song? Gates of Steel, ever since, girl you want, there's so many. It's hard, hard to choose, but Gates of Steel, because of that memory, hard to beat.